Terah or Terek is a biblical figure in the book of Genesis. He is listed as the son of Nahor and father of the patriarch Abraham. While Abraham's name shines brightly in the annals of faith, his story often lurks in the shadows, awaiting discovery. Terah was from ancient Mesopotamia, and he lived at a time when idolatry was common. Born into a society steeped in polytheism, his beliefs and practices were deeply rooted in the worship of multiple deities. His tale, though shrouded in antiquity, is a crucial prelude to the extraordinary journey of faith undertaken by his son, Abraham. The importance of Terah in the context of Abraham's story cannot be overstated. He was not merely a footnote in the narrative, but a linchpin, providing the backdrop against which Abraham's transformational journey unfolds. His worldview, firmly entrenched in idolatry, set the stage for Abraham's radical departure from the familiar. As we delve into the story of Terah's life, we encounter a man whose beliefs were emblematic of his era. Raised amidst the altars to gods of stone and clay, his faith was intrinsically tied to the pantheon that dominated his society. This environment would profoundly shape the spiritual landscape within which Abraham would later grapple with his own convictions. Terah's role as a father goes beyond mere lineage. He was a figure of influence, a beacon that guided Abraham's early steps. Their relationship was a dynamic one, marked by the interplay of faith and questioning. It was within the crucible of this familial connection that Abraham's own faith would be forged and refined. In the bustling city of Ur, Terah's journey began, leading his family towards the land of Haran. This pilgrimage was laden with significance, representing a physical and spiritual transition. Haran, a waypoint in Terah's narrative, became the canvas upon which the contours of Abraham's destiny would be painted. Terah's Background and Beliefs Born into a world steeped in ancient Mesopotamian culture, Terah's early life set the stage for a journey that would ultimately shape the course of history. In the heart of Ur, a city teeming with life along the banks of the Euphrates, Tur took his first breaths. Raised amidst the hustle and bustle of this vibrant metropolis, he was a product of an era characterized by a profound reverence for gods sculpted in stone and clay. It was a world where polytheism thrived, and idols held sway over the hearts and minds of the people. The cultural and religious context of Tur's time provides a crucial backdrop for understanding his beliefs. The cosmos of ancient Mesopotamia was a kaleidoscope of deities, each presiding over specific domains of life. From Enlil, the lord of the air, to Nana, the moon god, the pantheon was a complex shade of divine influences. Tura, like many of his contemporaries, found solace in this intricate web of beliefs that permeated every facet of daily existence. Tura's religious practices were deeply entrenched in the rituals and ceremonies of idol worship. Temples adorned with intricately carved statues offered a sanctuary for the faithful, and Terah, no doubt, found himself drawn to these sacred spaces. His devotion to the gods of his time was a cornerstone of his identity, a reflection of the prevailing spiritual milieu that shaped his worldview. Terah's Family and Relationships Terah's family was more than a mere constellation of names, it was a dynamic interplay of personalities and relationships. He married two wives. One of his wives is known as Antelai in the Talmud or Emtelai, the daughter of Carnebo. In the Book of the Jubilee, she is called Edna, the daughter of Aram or Aram. She is also known as Adna by the Arabs. He is mentioned in Genesis 11 verses 26 to 32 as a son of Nahar, the son of Sarek, descendants of Shem. He had three sons, Abram, better known by his later name Abraham, Haran, and Nahar II. Together, they navigated the challenges of their era, providing a nurturing environment for their children, of whom Abraham was the most prominent. Tur's devotion to the idols of his time was undoubtedly a central facet of their daily life. It must have been a household imbued with rituals and ceremonies, where the echoes of ancient beliefs reverberated through the chambers. The influence of his religious convictions undoubtedly cast a long shadow over the family's spiritual landscape. Yet, it was within this very crucible of faith that Abraham's own journey would begin to take shape. The interplay between father and son was marked by a dance of beliefs, a dynamic exchange of ideas and convictions. 
His influence on Abraham was not one of coercion, but rather a backdrop against which Abraham's own faith would be kindled and refined. Tur's journey to Canaan and settling in Haran. His journey from the bustling city of Uar to the tranquil embrace of Haran stands as a poignant chapter in the tapestry of human history. This movement was driven by a yearning for deeper understanding of faith. It was also the transformative power of a quest for truth. Uar was a thriving hub of civilization, steeped in the rituals of idol worship. However, amidst the clamor of altars and the chorus of prayers, Tura felt a stirring within, a yearning for a spiritual truth that transcended the confines of his familiar world. This inner call was the impetus that set the wheels of his journey in motion. The events that unfolded on the path to Haran were fraught with challenges and revelations. He, guided by an inner compass, led his family across deserts and rivers, a caravan of hope seekers in search of a higher truth. Along the way, they encountered trials that tested their resolve, yet each step was a proof to the unwavering conviction that propelled them forward. Haran, nestled in the embrace of the ancient Fertile Crescent, would become the sanctuary where Tur's journey found its resting place. This city, with its rich history and cultural tapestry, provided a fertile ground for contemplation and reflection. Here, amidst the whispers of the winds and the rustling of leaves, his quest for spiritual enlightenment would find its culmination. Tur's Role in Abraham's Spiritual Journey His influence on Abraham's beliefs was woven into the fabric of their daily lives. Raised in a household steeped in the rituals of idol worship, Abraham absorbed the customs and traditions of his father's faith. Tur's convictions, deeply rooted in the pantheon of ancient Mesopotamia, provided the initial framework upon which Abraham's own spiritual foundation would be built. As Abraham matured, a transformation began to stir within him. The beliefs of his father, while cherished, no longer sufficed to satiate his thirst for a deeper understanding of the divine. Abraham's departure from his father's beliefs was not a rejection born of rebellion, but rather a testament to the innate human capacity for introspection and growth. It was a courageous step into the unknown, a leap of faith that would ultimately redefine the course of history. Legacy of Tura As the sands of time continue to shift, the legacy of Tura, the idolatrous father of Abraham, endures as an evidence to the intricacies of faith and familial influence. His story transcends epics, leaving an indelible mark on subsequent generations and echoing through the corridors of religious and historical discourse. His impact on subsequent generations is akin to ripples in a pond, reaching far beyond the confines of his own era. The beliefs and convictions that he held dear, though steeped in the traditions of ancient Mesopotamia, cast a long shadow over the spiritual journeys of his descendants. Through Abraham, Tur's legacy found its most luminous expression, a beacon that guided countless souls towards a deeper understanding of the divine. In religious and historical contexts, Tur's name holds a place of significance that belies his relatively fleeting appearances in ancient texts. He stands as a bridge between epics, a figure whose beliefs and journey encapsulate the spirit of an era. Tur's pilgrimage from U.R. to Haran serves as a metaphor for the human quest for spiritual enlightenment, a universal narrative that transcends the boundaries of time and culture. Interpretations and perspectives on Tur's character are as diverse as the history of humanity itself. Some may view him through the lens of antiquity, a product of his time whose devotion to idolatry was emblematic of the era in which he lived. Others may see in him a catalyst, a figure whose influence catalyzed the transformative journey of his renowned son, Abraham. As we reflect on Tura's legacy, we are invited to contemplate the power of familial influence and the complex interplay of beliefs across generations. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the intriguing story of Tura, the idolatrous father of Abraham with us. If you enjoyed this exploration, I invite you to discover more fascinating topics and discussions on our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos. Your support means the world to us. Thank you once again and we will see you in our next one.